in this video we want to look at uh, the calendar main dates in a year for a student who is in final year mbbs or pursuing internship okay you should be very well aware of the dates so let me explain to you so <clears throat> so in a year how many months you have 12 months right so either you are in final year or doing your internship you must know these important dates so let me just give you an overview here if you want to write the cms upsc uh, combined medical service exam you should write it in july so application will start like 2 3 months before the exam date remember and uh, this exam you can write even after final year so please be aware of this exam and after the exam you'll have to give interview so the selection takes a long time so you should be aware that you should be giving this exam at the earliest if you are interested then coming to neat pg this everybody will tell you the exam date currently is july earlier it was in march now it has been moved to july <clears throat> so just be aware of this neat pg mandatorily you must give because um, it is used as qualifying marks for many other jobs also many other mtech me courses also and um, this is um, they remove the uh, uh, cut off marks right and they make everybody very eligible so why not give neat pg and uh, as soon as neat pg application form opens try to apply within the first 3 days itself so that you get the center of your choice otherwise you'll have to travel very far right and uh, keep your provisional registration certificate with your state medical council whatever provisional registration you have done that number and the pdf copy of that you will need for upload so keep this document ready and one more thing is internship completion date whatever date it allows select that date as the maximum date and leave it when you are applying neat pg on the first 3 days because later anyways these people extend the internship completion date so that time you can modify it okay so <clears throat> that is what i want to say about neat pg so next is this uh, ini ct for aims jipmer and other institutions this one is uh, conducting exam first sunday november so you will have to be aware of this date and when the application is called for always 2 3 months before the exam date you'll have to be alert okay and uh, coming to ssc that is short service commissioned officer right army navy air force etc so for this the main thing is you should have given neat pg so let me highlight this also wait so main thing is this uh, you should have given neat pg also so you'll have to write this neat pg based on that qualifying uh, they will call and they will directly call you for interview and medical test okay which will be in november again the if you are selected okay for the interview based on your neat pg marks and a lot of other height criteria etc will be there okay and mostly they select uh, maximum uh, like 600 people of boys and 50 girls will be there for this okay now coming to the next one here technology courses if you are interested in like mem tech mmst and those type of blend of technology you will have to watch out separately for these the iit one uh, exam date is march so application will be 3 months before that you can understand for this you should have done uh, maths in 12th okay and uh, mem tech may have some other eligibility criteria so look at these also if you are interested then if you have interest in law and uh, generic law this will be llb and this you will have to apply in july right be aware in june itself you start looking at all the colleges and shortlisting and you can apply in july and uh, llb basically they don't have entrance exam as such and uh, if you want specifically medical uh, law then you will have to do llm after llb okay that will be specific to medical <clears throat> and you have other uh, uh, pg diploma type of law courses for medical only that you can look at from national law university right then coming to the next one here after mbbs and that after your internship that is if you want to do some critical care courses from different universities colleges etc they will have special call okay 
one year course two year course they will call for it and you'll have to apply apply much before so they'll keep you in the waiting list and whenever the in, uh, course starts you can go and join if you're not doing pg then you can at least do this right an emergency you will be emergency doctor you can be these are not like very uh, uh, val very much valued like md etc but these courses are there from different universities and colleges so you'll have to watch out on their websites AFIH, this is Associate Fellow of uh, Industrial Health uh, course. This is from government. And this is for people who already have at least one uh, year in industrial health experience or two years of other type of uh, clinical experience. And uh, this course duration is only three months. And I think they might conduct it multiple times. So you please look at this if you are interested. Coming to the last one here, jobs. Jobs um, can be rural service call or from your state or from aims or anywhere so these dates um, are kind of fluctuating so you must not depend that much on them okay whenever it happens it happens types so now uh, you have understood that after mbbs there are so many options in life to do and um, uh, there is no need to depend on uh, md ms courses you can explore you can blend and uh, even if you are planning something uh, different from the normal path you can always come back to md if you're doing md and you want to go and join law you can still do it so that's all uh, from our side people smile